Edutainment Studios welcomes you to Multiple Myeloma Treatment Guide. This module is part two of a four-part series on multiple myeloma. Multiple myeloma is a cancer that forms in a type of white blood cell called a plasma cell. Plasma cells help you fight infections by making antibodies that recognize and attack germs. Multiple myeloma causes cancer cells to accumulate in the bone marrow, where they crowd out healthy blood cells. Rather than produce helpful antibodies, the cancer cells produce abnormal proteins that can cause kidney problems. Treatment for multiple myeloma is not always necessary. If you are not experiencing signs or symptoms, you may not require treatment. If signs and symptoms develop, there are a number of treatments that can help control your multiple myeloma. In this course, the objective is to help you know the symptoms of multiple myeloma and how multiple myeloma is tested and staged. In the early stages of multiple myeloma, you may not have any symptoms. If you do, it may be complications of multiple myeloma and not actual signs of the condition itself. Either way, be open with your doctor about all of the things you are experiencing, even if you don't think it's related. When you feel tired, it is often because of anemia, kidney failure, or too much calcium in your blood. But being tired can be caused by many other things. If you have bone pain and fractures, it could be because of bone loss or myeloma cells growing into the bone. Pain, numbness, or weakness can happen if you have a fracture that causes bone to push against your spinal cord or pinch a nerve. You might have a loss of appetite or weight loss due to high levels of calcium in your blood, called hypercalcemia. You could have an increase in infections because multiple myeloma weakens your immune system. To diagnose and monitor your cancer, your doctor will look at your symptoms, blood, and urine tests and do a bone marrow biopsy. Your doctor may also order scans like x-rays or MRIs. There are two blood tests that help determine staging. Beta-2 microglobulin looks for a specific protein that is made by myeloma cells. A high level means that the myeloma is more advanced. Serum albumin looks for a specific type of protein called albumin, which is found in plasma cells. A low level means that the myeloma is more advanced. The results of these tests help your doctor determine the type of myeloma you have and what stage it is in. Monoclonal gammopathy of undetermined significance, or MGUS, means that there are small amounts of M protein in your blood, but you do not have any other symptoms of myeloma. If you have MGUS, you have a small chance of developing myeloma or other blood problems in the future. Smoldering myeloma means there is more M protein in your blood, but you are not having any other symptoms. You have a higher risk of developing myeloma. Symptomatic myeloma means that there are high levels of M protein in your blood that are causing or may lead to symptoms of anemia, kidney failure, high blood calcium, or bone damage. With multiple myeloma, its specific stage is determined by how aggressive the cancer is, not by where it has spread throughout your body. In 2005, the International Staging System, or ISS, was created to help doctors learn whether this cancer would be easy to treat or whether it would resist certain treatments. To figure this out, the ISS used two different blood tests. The chart on this slide shows each blood test and the corresponding stage. In 2015, the Revised International Staging System, or RISS, was created. Doctors still looked at the same blood tests to define the stage, but the RISS added two additional factors, chromosome defects of your myeloma cells and levels of an enzyme in your blood called LDH, or lactate dehydrogenase. Chromosomes are the structure in the body's cells that carry a person's genes. When a chromosome or part of a chromosome is missing, it is called a deletion. A translocation is where part of one chromosome is transferred to another. These are both common defects in myeloma. LDH is an enzyme that your body uses during the process of turning sugar into energy. The levels of LDH in the blood can also help to stage your cancer. These three factors together blood tests, chromosome defects, and LDH levels give the doctor a more complete picture and accurate diagnosis.
Please feel free to investigate these sites and others for more information, and remember to bring any concerns or questions in to discuss with your doctor. Thank you for joining us today for part two of this four-part series on multiple myeloma.